The following segment is sponsored by Providence Health and Services. This segment of Afternoon Live is brought to you by Family Matters. Health and education, safety, and the quality of life. K2 and our partners are proud to bring you Family Matters, offering solutions to the hard questions. Because K2 and Providence Health and Services know that family matters. Thanks for watching Afternoon Live. Okay, we gotta face it, none of us are getting any younger, and the day may come when you need help with the basic tasks of life. This is when the Providence Elder Place PACE program is there to provide assistance. Here to tell us more, we welcome Jen Pfeiffer. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Let's talk about one of the big reasons this is so important right now. We've all heard about our aging population, just the sheer number of folks who are gonna need more help in the near future. Yeah, so I think you said it best, our population isn't getting any younger. Yeah. And you know, it's the grain of America, as we've heard, and so there's a definite need for, you know, all sorts of services for the aging population. So the PACE acronym, Program of All-Inclusive Care for the Elderly. Tell me about Providence's PACE program and why it's so special. Yeah, PACE is a unique model of care in that it is both health insurance and a medical provider. So we are offering full wraparound supportive services that you might not see in a traditional insurance model. We're able to provide services to keep people living independently mm. in their communities. That's a big relief for those folks and their loved ones who want to support them, especially living independently mm -hmm. as long as they can. That's a big goal of a lot of people. Absolutely, yeah. And, and really the whole program is based on keeping people in the community and keeping them you know, independent. So who qualifies and how does that work if you want to get started? Yeah, great question. So we typically care for those that are financially Medicaid eligible, okay. although we do have a private pay option. Uh, additionally, our participants are 55 or older and meet the state's definition of long-term care nursing support services. Okay, what exactly does that mean for those of us <laughs> who don't know? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it means that there needs to be some sort of supportive services okay. need. Some sort of activity of daily living, ambulation, you know, uh, medications, cognitive deficits, sure. bathing, toileting. Okay things that a lot of us are gonna be dealing with. Mm -hmm. uh, so what are some of the goals of the program? What are you hoping that participants are able to get out of it? Yeah. We know statistically that those that are enrolled in a PACE program typically have less than one ER visit per year. Oh, okay. And when we're talking about a group of people with medical complexities, sure. that's a good measure yeah, of success. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but ultimately, we wanna keep people, again, in their community. We wanna keep them home and we wanna keep them supported and living as long as possible. And does that help keep that social network intact as well? I mean, we know that that mm -hmm. has big health benefits physically, too. Absolutely, yeah. One aspect of our program is looking at somebody's holistically, right? Sure. So we're looking at their m uh, medical, physical, and social needs. Do you need a referral to get started in the PACE program? You, uh, short answer is no. Okay. Anybody can call and be referred in. But what we want to really encourage people to do is plan ahead. Mm -hmm. Be looking at supportive services before there's a crisis. Yes. We cannot enroll somebody if they're currently in the hospital or okay. in a long-term nursing stay. So we really want to you know, promote planning ahead yeah. and encourage those families to think about, you know, the possibility of a PACE program. Do you find such relief in families when they're kind of navigating what to do for maybe a parent or someone mm -hmm. they're caring for and they find PACE and they go, oh my gosh, we can keep them in their home and get them the support that they need without really disrupting their lives. Yes, absolutely. That's a major aspect of the PACE program, kind of alleviating those factors that create caregiver burnout. Mm -hmm. So we're able to take on some of that responsibility that might traditionally be left to a family member or sure. a care provider. So again, it's kind of alleviating this burden to yeah. everyone involved, the senior and their family. And by planning ahead, can you also kind of alleviate that financial toll of, oh my gosh, how are we gonna take care of this loved one in the long-term sense? Yeah, absolutely. We're going to help them avoid that crisis, right? Okay. Keep them out of that hospital, keep them out of skilled, um, and in, be involved in that PACE program that's going to give them all of those wraparound yeah. services. Really important stuff that we're yeah. all going to be dealing with <laughs> eventually. Thank you so much for joining Thanks us. Thanks for having me. Of course. We'll have more information about the Providence Elder Place PACE program on our website at katu.com.